Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the full moon. It is the Capricorn full moon, and you know what full moons bring? Full moons bring wild, right? They bring out the wild, so, um, hmm. Anyhow, um, let's get started. I happen to be Capricorn Moon, by the way. Not that I'm wild or anything. Um, <laughs> interesting. Take a look at my shirt. That's, that's me. I didn't even think either. Okay. Nine of Cups reversed. Ace of Pentacles. They came out together. So Nine of Cups reversed. I feel like we have some deep fulfillment that is coming. Somebody has been praying. They've been wishing for something. They've been overdoing it. They have been going overboard by the looks of things. They may have been in an unhappy situation. So they were like uh, self-medicating or eating too much or doing overdoing it. Somebody was overdoing it. Um, but the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It's a new investment. It's a new opportunity. This is a gift. Somebody's going to be receiving something solid, something real, uh, something stable. But the, the, the Nine of Cups reverse is unhappy, unhappy, but they have manifested something. So somebody has manifested something. They are about to receive something that is real it's solid it's a gift okay um they may have felt like they were never going to receive it but they are i feel like deep fulfillment is coming somebody is about to receive something big Seven of Wands. Now, Seven of Wands is in a tough position. We have somebody here that is in a tough position. They are, they're fighting something. They're trying to fight something off. They're, they're, they're wanting to stand their ground. They are standing their ground. They're pushing something away. Somebody is pushing something away. They're not happy in their current situation. And behind that is the Nine of Cups reversed. They have an opportunity right in the palm of their hand. But the only way they're going to get that opportunity is if they... It looks like this person is pushing somebody away. They're not happy. They're in an unhappy situation. Seven of, seven of Wands is competition, um, opposition, challenges. We got somebody here that is facing some challenges. They're really unhappy in their current circumstances. They have a lot there with the Nine of Cups. They, it appears that they have a lot there, but there's no wish fulfillment. There's no happiness. And they have an opportunity that is right there in front of them. But they're going to have to fight for it. They're going because there's some sort of competition here. There's some sort of competition. The Seven of Wands is competition. It's opposition. It's There's a need to fight for it or something. There could be a fight. There could be. There is competition. Eight of Swords. Held back. Trapped. Mental turmoil. Restricting. We have somebody here that is restricting themselves. They can break free. They're in a situation that they have chosen to be in. It's like a prison, okay? They've chosen to be in this situation because it's comfortable. But there's a lot of fighting going on. There's no wish fulfillment. There's no happiness. And there is a huge opportunity that they just need to take. It's right there. It's right there. It's like right there. It's right in front of you. Take it. 
That is a huge opportunity for something solid, for something abundant. This is a this is a win. This is a yes, yes. This is this is you know what you wished for, but you're not taking it. You're not taking it. So if you don't take it, probably the competition is going to take it. If you don't fight for it, the competition is going to take it. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is held back. Somebody is restricting themselves. They're confining themselves. They're in a situation where there's a lot of mental turmoil. There's a lot of bickering. There's a lot of opposition. There's no happiness. And they need to find their mental strength to step outside of this. There, it's like there's no, there's no reason to stay here. It's, it's, it's very confining. It's very restrictive. There's deception, there's lies behind it. There's a means to escape, but this person is going to have to defend themselves and they're going to have to fight. It's almost like fight for your freedom, fight for your freedom, you know, fight for what you want, fight for the, fight for uh, what you deserve. Somebody's in a tough position, they really are. Held back, held back by fear. Fear of what, though? Fear of the opposition? Fear of confrontation, maybe? Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is... Teamwork, fear. Maybe it's I gotta do this because what what are they gonna say? I, I made some sort of commitment. It looks like we have somebody here that is being told what to do. King of Swords in reverse on the bottom. That's not very wise. That's not very discerning. Not making a wise decision. We have somebody here that is not making a wise decision. They're working with somebody that is, I feel like, that is deceiving them. There's some sort of mental abuse here as well with the King of Swords reverse. It's either mental abuse, verbal abuse, even could be even physical abuse. Um not very wise, not very intelligent, just being honest, the King of Swords in reverse, it's not an intelligent decision. Somebody's not making a wise decision, they're not using their head, they're not using their head. Somebody is staying trapped in a situation, they're, 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 it's like they, they can break free, they can open their mouth, they can walk away, but they're, they don't want, they're scared, they're scared of the opposition, they're scared of, the, of what will happen if they do. And they may be being bullied. They may be being bullied. There could be a couple people involved that are bullying them. You know, a team. It could be a gang up or something like that. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is grieving. It's... it's uh, you have somebody here that is trapped in a situation where the love is gone, where there's no emotional fulfillment, and there's another opportunity that is being ignored. Okay, you see? Somebody's focusing on the love that is lost when there's another opportunity that is being ignored. This is grieving over a loss. We may have an individual that wants to work with somebody else, you know? They have a lot of skills that they that they could use, but they're going to need to step outside of their comfort zone. They're going to need to remove themselves from their current situation and stand up for themselves and defend themselves and deal with any opposition that comes along the way because there's no wish fulfillment here. So I do feel like we have somebody here that with this Ace of Pentacles, this is a yes, this is a huge opportunity. I want it. It's a gift from above. We have somebody here that has been given a gift. It feels like they're ignoring it. They're ignoring what they asked for. They're ignoring what they wished for because they're still grieving over something or they're focusing on something where the love is gone or there's, you know, the 
crying over the spilled milk, you know, moping. We do have somebody here that is moping. They uh, keep revisiting a situation when they should just go. They should just go work with whoever it is that they want to work with. Why do you keep going back to that? Somebody keeps going back to a somebody that controls them, that, that walks all over them, that... So why do you keep going back to that? Somebody does. It's like there's another opportunity right here. This is an opportunity for long-term success. That is the Ace of Pentacles. This is what you asked for. It's what you manifested. So it is what you wished for. But you keep you keep going against it. You keep going against the flow. You keep you keep choosing to stay in this prison. So you you're confining yourself. You're restricting yourself. When you have a huge opportunity that is right in front of you. is about teamwork, togetherness, communication, collaboration. Somebody has the means to work with somebody else. They have the skills. They they are they all they have to do is find their mental strength to go in that direction. There may be some confrontation. But if you can deal with the confrontation, you can have the gold, right? You can have the prize. This is a prize. The Ace of Pentacles is a prize. There's a need to fight for what you deserve as well. There is. There's a need to break free from fear. There's a need to communicate. Justice, like I said, there's a need to go after what you deserve. Okay, I said it before the card came out. Fight for what you deserve. I mean, that is what that is. That is fighting for what you deserve. Let's see if we can get it to come in there. That is. That's fighting for justice. Making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. An informed decision. It's not about feelings at this point. It's about the facts. It's about the truth. Acting with integrity. Doing the right thing. Somebody needs to do the right thing. Even if, you know... It hurts. You know what I mean? Sometimes love hurts, right? It does sometimes. Anyhow, justice is a card of integrity. It's a card of doing the right thing. It's right next to the Five of Cups, and that's why I said it, even if it hurts, even if, you know, somebody, you know, maybe there's another opportunity for love here that is being ignored because somebody is trapped in a situation where, you know, they don't want to deal with the confrontation, but, but in order to get the prize, you have to deal with the confrontation. You have to be honest and upfront. Unless you want the competition to get the prize, because there is competition here. The competition will take the prize. If you don't fight for what you want, if you're going to sit there and be a glutton for punishment. I mean, we have somebody here that is a glutton for punishment. There's a need to make a decision. And I think that there's there could be fear of legalities. You know what I mean? I'm staying here because of, you know, of... Uh, the contract maybe there's some legal contracts you know sometimes you have to break free from contracts the eight of swords that's you need to break free underneath it is justice that is a contract you have to do what's right for you you have to protect yourself you have to defend yourself you have to fight for what is right you have to fight for yourself you have to protect yourself you have to do what's right for you so anyhow, I do believe that everything is going to turn out as it should. Somebody is about to make a fair and just decision. They are in a situation where they are trapped or they are stuck. Or it's not healthy. There's a lot of opposition. There's going to be some opposition. So get prepared for that. There could be some, some legal issues that are popping up here in the near future. We have somebody here that... Uh, 
is grieving over something with the five of cups grieving over a loss they know the love is already gone elsewhere but they're staying put because they don't want to back down from their position in some way it's like they don't want to fight or they're sick of the fighting there's going to be a fight anyway with the seven of wands there's a need to fight there's a need to there's a and i hate to say that there's a need to fight for justice there's a need to fight for what you deserve so i do believe that there is going to we have somebody here that is overdoing it right now they're in a very unhappy situation they're, this is not wish fulfillment it is not what they asked for they have a golden opportunity right in front of them but it will require the mental strength to step outside of the comfort zone and deal with the confrontation. Deal with uh, what everybody else is going to say. To get the prize, you know. Anyhow, I do believe that there is some sort of decision. It is a big one that is about to be made. Somebody is making a very big decision. We could also, I'm going to change this story a little bit. This is for somebody else completely. We could have somebody here that is overdoing it. Okay, with that Nine of Cups reverse, they're, they're drinking too much. They're... They're going overboard in some way with some sort of addiction. Could even be food. I don't know what it is, but they're going overboard. They're, they're really going overboard. And they do something. They cause a fight. They cause some sort of fight. They say they get drunk or something. And the authorities get called. And they end up going to jail. Nine of Cups reversed. Seven of Wands. Justice. Eight of Swords. So somebody could end up in jail. They have plenty of time to think about what they did. They may have been dealing with somebody that picked a fight with them just to send them to jail. So be careful with that. <laughs> somebody here is ignoring we have the Seven of Wands next to the Eight of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles behind both of those cards. Somebody is ignoring a huge opportunity for long-term success, for long-term stability. This is a gift. It is what you asked for. It is what you want, okay? This is something that is huge, that is permanent. It is permanent. It's something that you can really save that you can, this is, it is, I always say it's a golden opportunity that you can take to the bank that's being ignored. Somebody is ignoring a huge golden opportunity that could last. I mean, this is a gift from above. You, It's like throwing it away because of some loveless situation that is already gone. They may be holding on just for the money. Mm. Ace of Cups reversed. Emotional uh, loss. Okay, emotional loss. Um, crying, tears. This is next to the Five of Cups. That's tears as well. Crying, sad sad we have somebody here that is very very sad they're they're not happy at all there's this emotional shutdown um in a state of mental turmoil needing to make the right decision needing to do the right thing even if it means that you have to deal with confrontation deal with the consequences there is grieving over a loss. There's tears being shed. I don't know. Somebody, somebody is really, really needing to be honest and upfront. 
Hermit reversed. Hermit reversed is reconnecting. It is coming out of hiding. Somebody has been thinking. They've been taking time to reflect. They need to uh, open up. Come out of hiding. Stop hiding their feelings. Come out. Come out. What that means. Come out. Hermit reversed. All done. Thinking. Somebody has been reflecting. They have been reflecting. They've been thinking a lot. Oh. Oh. Lovers, unexpected joys in love. That's what that is. This is a perfect match. That is an angel bringing two people together that are meant to be together. Right next to the justice card. Those are both contracts. It's a choice, making a choice in regards to love. You've got to do the right thing. Somebody is going to be making a choice. They are going to be making a decision. They're going to be fighting for a partnership. That they may have that may have come into their life suddenly because the lovers is an unexpected choice in love. Making a decision, balancing the scales, doing the right thing, breaking free from some sort of restriction. Somebody could be falling in love. They could be falling in love with the lover's card. This could be a soulmate connection making a choice in regards to love, fighting for love, fighting for justice, fighting for what they deserve, ready to deal with the consequences for love. There's a song about that. Something, I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of songs about that, isn't there? Anyhow, um, but this is somebody that is receiving an offer. They are going to be receiving an offer that they probably don't think that they are going to get. It's probably unexpected. I would suggest that you take it. This is what you deserve. It's time to focus on the future. Everybody deserves to be loved. They deserve to be happy or they deserve to be in a situation where there's a mutual respect. I think there's going to be some sort of individual here. We have an individual that is about to put up a fight. They're about to put up a fight. This fight... Uh, breaks them free from some sort of contract and allows them to come together with the person that they're meant to be with. And that is what I got. Good luck.